<laughs> you don't have to be in the vlog. Okay. I'm like, I don't want my first appearance on the vlog to be like this. <laughs> That's amazing. sister-in-law and how long have you known me for um 14 years that's crazy uh, your ability to connect with pretty much anybody is mind-blowing it's almost like you're an alien that can like camouflage itself I'm thinking about in signs whenever that one alien like turns different colors <laughs> <laughs> okay, so it could be mm -hmm. just like a chameleon, because chameleons can <laughs> all <laughs> themselves too. I, I preferred alien to chameleon, I'm not gonna <laughs> okay, lie. You're an alien. Okay, you're alien. Okay, in that there's just no one that I've ever met like you. I mean, you're able to adapt and change almost just to make that person feel comfortable and confident about their abilities and who they are and then you guys are like best buds and you've known each other forever and you know but you've only had a like a 10 minute conversation I mean it's kind of crazy that's why it's alien like you stick this guy on the bottom of the plane um Tucson is 44 that's not bad Let's add McKinney, Texas. It's like 22 degrees. With the wind chill, yeah. it's cold. It's cold. Let me let me let me push record on your head. Oh yeah. It's rolling. Such a confusing yeah, remote for something that's so confusing. That's ridiculous. <laughs> we only got four channels going on right now, but that's okay. My whole day is completely planned where a workout just might not feasibly yeah. fit into that unless I were willing to wake up at like 5 a.m. before Philip goes to work. And I just value my sleep so much. It's, yeah, what, what do I value more? Sleeping or right. working out? Okay. Uh, and since I'm breastfeeding, I've been losing weight a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess once I'm done breastfeeding and I start noticing those pounds coming back on, I'm probably gonna start freaking out and yeah, and motivation will be higher. Yeah, <clears throat> and even then, I'm more about my food intake than the working mm. out. Like I focus, I try to focus as much as I can first on my food, and then once I can't you know, control my weight enough with that, 
then yeah. I'll start working out. So that's like my last resort. <laughs> <laughs> Even though I enjoy running. It's more difficult for me to manage my food intake than, than it is. Out. Yeah, just my personality and, I don't know, the restraint required and mm -hmm. whatever. Dot, dot, dot. Fill in the blank. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> the one time where I was really good about food, I wasn't at home a lot, which is a stay-at-home parent. That's kind of, yeah, I mean, it, when you have access you know, to it just constantly, it's really hard. But when I'm at the store, I, I have to restrain myself with what I buy. And I know oh. that if I don't buy it, then I'm just not going to have the option when I get home. And there's no way I'm going to be motivated enough to go back to the store to buy that bag of cookies I really <laughs> wanted, you know? So right. I just don't buy it in the first place. It's ridiculously cold out. The wind probably means you can't hear me at all, but like, that was awesome. Yes. We win. <laughs> we win. <laughs> we win. say that because I'm about to go out in there and run. I'm really scared to try to do a run in this kind of temperature and I'm also really just like excited to have done it. I'm already projecting out to that point where the run is gone and done and I feel really great about having accomplished that. I'll follow you. And it depends on how far you want to go. Let's, let's do scheduling is brilliant because I think that probably a lack of a schedule has been your worst enemy really you know because there's so many hours in a day and being a stay-at-home dad you can fill that in so many different ways that can seem very productive but then it's just so hard sometimes to like 
choose. And so because there's so because there's so many options and it's hard to choose from all of them, I think sometimes you just default into what you're comfortable with. Um, and so having that schedule is just a perfect, brilliant plan for you. I mean, I don't think that there are any limitations that you have. I think that you're capable of doing everything and anything. I just like your schedule idea, and I don't have an answer because I think that you're amazing. Normal screen. Uh, demonic possessed screen. This is my new MacBook Pro. Just bought this like a few days ago, and it's going bye-bye tomorrow. What happened, Apple? How'd you guys change? Hmm. I really thought that my biggest challenge with this vacation was going to be just trying to stay fit, stay healthy. What I did not expect was how difficult kind of getting the vlogging part of this thing done was going to be. The get, getting my edits together, getting everything uploaded. I'm not in my system, in my routine, in my world. And um, productivity is kind of a challenge right now. So, I mean, it took a lot of energy mentally, emotionally, just to get out on that run. But I'm really glad I did it, which I knew I would be. Just being the kind of person who goes running in really cold weather like that. Um, not necessarily think something I want to do all the time when it's cold, but I want to be the kind of person who's willing to, or I don't even know what I'm saying here. Just, I'm really glad I did it. I feel like it was the right decision for me. Uh, but it was, it was really cold. It was really cold.